Facts. Girls, girls, girls. That was a joint. Speaking of girls, 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 my man Umar got married to two of them. Give him Yo, a what? go to applause. Yo, I'm <laughs> now, not applause. Hold where's on. applause? Hold on, you know, hold, hold on. on v. Give my man applause for his two black queens. Man, don't do don't do that like that. Yo. We we gonna applause him. He uh, tried to. And I'm gonna add my own shit. Yo, <laughs> I just yeah, you know I mean, I just I, I don't know Umar. Like Umar, we, what are we, you we, up to? We supported the, for. Are we happy for the black? Are you happy for the black man? I mean, he, I'm the happy. Fuck, he got two joints. For one, I don't even understand. Me, personally, I don't know why I nigga sign up for double the stress. You know what I'm saying? So you anti-poly? I think it's double the stress. Okay. It's not just about the fucking. You got to actually deal with both these bros. Yeah. Yeah. Yeah, we back. Who we at? Episode 83, Old Shintai Place, on the 13th of September. August just came and fucking went. <laughs> For real. August? August been gone. September almost September gone. September damn near gone, right? You took, it's you September a, 11th. You thought you could take a breather? Is my niggas man? numb to September 11th? Does it, like, oh, does it affect shit. you? <laughs> nah. What? Nah. That's crazy, right? What? Is, are we numb to September 11th? I mean, I think. Are we, you numb to it personally? No, nah, I mean, I, I mean, I was up top, yeah. so I feel like it's then impossible to be numb to it because there was like so much going on around it in niggas' youth, and it took up, took up so much of what the fuck we had going on in that time period. Mm-hmm. You know what I'm saying? But am I like sitting around thinking about the fallen, the fallen um, soldiers or whatever, whoever died and all that, and the families and all that and all that? Nah, yeah. I'm not thinking. Of, <laughs> I'm not too much thinking about. I ain't gonna lie. I spent more time this September 11th actually finding out that that um, under the World Trade Center was actually all just like African, African trading. Yeah, I didn't burial. know that. Shit, like they, a lot of, it was like a lot of dead African, be, yeah, bodies because they wasn't allowed to be uh, buried in New York proper, so they had to be buried down there, and that's where they really sold a lot of slaves at and all that and all that back, back, back in the ri- early times. Early, early times, yeah, yeah that before shit is it was wild. illegal and all that up there. Has your perspective changed, like now that like with the internet and canon and like conspiracy theories? As yeah, far as it's like yo, Chamber Street, like you know what I mean, like some that's really some black shit. You know what I mean? Yeah. You said you said so. Yeah, because so it's hard. Do you, to, let me it's ask hard you, to really do you feel like a scared. terrorist? Do you feel like it's? Do, do you still feel like Muhammad Atta was was like they just did that Taliban? Yeah, the, the, or the, you per, like the, the perfectly was unburned passports, like you know what I'm saying? Like I, it was just too convenient. They just found mad like mad documentation still, of who did it. Yeah. Like, first of all, it was it, like perfect documentation, I'm untouched, still, unscathed. They had lost me when I first started seeing the conspiracy shits, and they was like, well, jet fuel can't really burn steel beams. Like, you can't melt through it. You know what I'm saying? So, yeah. I don't like, you know, some, somebody blew something up. Then you hear news of more, there were several more explosions after the plane hit. Yes, and, yes. Uh, uh, and all these other things. So... Yeah, I mean it's hard to it's just hard to have the same type of at the end of the day you still feel I, you just feel sorry for the people the innocent, the, the innocent people the innocent. that just was at work. That just was at and work died, you know what I'm saying? Yeah. Or the people that came to save somebody and ended up inhaling wild fumes and end up dying two Yo, years the, later. The pulling up to save somebody people. and then like Yeah, like it all died the, is the worst. Yeah, all the people that like ended up with the diseases and all that that they ended up suing and getting you know what I mean their families got money and all that, but that don't really bring nobody back. Nah, hell no. And then, yeah, bro, I can't, I can't see, I can't see it making. Nah, bro. The images are still wild, like. Playing, yeah, like I don't. It's so crazy, building, but and then building fall. The whole, the whole patriot shit though. It's like, yo, it's like you feel sorry for the people, but you don't feel the whole same. Like, yo, we gotta go. America, the great go go fight whoever. somebody that yeah, did nah. that. Whoever did this to us, like it's mad. It's way more complicated it's than way you know more I mean. Like, who as far did? as I'm concerned, we did it to ourselves. Yeah, like who <laughs> did it? Like who yeah, did it? Who did it? I don't know who, who did, did it, it yet. I don't know who did that it. That shit is so confusing. I don't know who did it. I don't know who was a part of it. You know what I mean? Like I just feel like that's just out of, outside my pay grade, outside of my political grade. Like and I, that's like a rabbit hole. That's like really, really deep. You know what I yeah. mean? And then it's like it'd be weird too, like you know, they they say like it was the wild celebrity, like Michael Jackson, my favorite nigga, like he was supposed to have a meme, he overslept that day. Yeah, I mean, it's just a real coincidence. Yeah, it's too much coincidence for me. It's wild coincidence. It's wild coincidence. But being that it is 20th anniversary, 
Blueprint came out on 9 11. We gotta get Blueprint. Whoa. Shout out to Blueprint. Can we get an applause for Blueprint? Let's give a Blueprint applause one time, man. Shout out to Hove, man. I'd say Blueprint is a top three, top three Hove album. You know what I mean? Yeah. His nigga came out on September 11th and still sold half a ticket. I first came week. the same day as the twins. This one niggas was doing physical copies. Like, so let's put some respect on Hove name. Where you put this album, Blueprint? Out of what? Out of Hove shit. Out of Hove albums? Yeah. It's second. Second. My yeah. reasonable. Yeah. Copy. Yeah, I, yeah, I'm it's okay second. with second. It's easily second. I listen to it more than reasonable though. That's the funny shit. Yeah, you know I mean, um, but I I respect reasonable enough to say that I'll accept second. You know what I'm saying? It's definitely second. Fab, but it's absolutely fire. It's absolutely fire. But you, no skips. I mean, I be skipping eights to the Izzo because it was like a commercial joint. But, but that still song is extremely still fire. fire. There's that a lot of bars on there. It's a lot of bars. It's a lot of bars. It's a lot. You know what I mean? I and it's crazy. It's Twenty years went by so fast. It's like damn. Yeah. I feel like that shit just came out. Not I just used, came out, but it was like a few years ago. I used that for my high school yearbook quote. My nigga. A drink from Blueprint. Which one? What, do you remember the quote? Um, ask damn. Which? Uh, was it what, girls, girls, girls? Nah, nah, nah. It was uh, from, from the womb to the tomb. Uh, what, what it go, how it goes? Switch. Uh, I know what you're talking about. Yeah. Drink, drink army from one cup. That's the ritual. The room. That's the ritual. I, it was, it was something from that you, song. Dude. It was one ball from And all the shit that we, yeah, that was, was my shit. From, it was a ball from that shit, but I can't remember. I, I can't remember. Which one it was, but it was a ball from that shit. Or that might have been a ball I pulled. That was my shit. I don't know. I think all it's I need that is song my favorite for sure. joint off there. My bucket is right. Yeah. My rocket way is feeling incredible. Chat. <laughs> <laughs> you feel me? Nigga said mama said I done killed the man. Swagger back. Mama that's, that's said that's I killed shit. the man. Well, I guess, guess I, got I got the, the dagger back. The intro, <laughs> the intro was rulers back is fire. Yeah. Girls, 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 one and two is fire. Um, no, yeah. ain't no love, Lyric, never change. So lyrical pride exercise. Was lyrical exercise. It was just top to bottom heat. Yeah, so it was just pretty ridiculous. It was crazy. I was listening to it over the weekend. It was like, it, just songs back then, like, it wasn't that far. But songs actually used to be like four minutes. Like, yeah. it, I was like, that shit's kind of long. I was yeah. like, Some of these joints, yeah. You know four, I mean? five, five, six minutes. Yeah, song. really, five. First, it said you said six minutes. I was in some R&B shit. They mandatory five minutes in yeah. R&B joints. They running on they that not, They giving you breakdown. They like giving you They giving you a minute of just instrumental. Yeah. They come on the fade out. Like, <laughs> they using all of the, you know what I'm saying? All of yeah. the vinyl, B, for facts. sure. That's for sure. Fact. Now they in two minutes, niggas just check it out. Yeah, like, it's, it's over, gave you bro. two verses, bro. Like, what do you want? Nah. Really, Hope. one verse. What's hot niggas? Just one more verse, right? Yeah. It's like, for Hope I mean, giving you minimal three verses on all of that Hope was shit. giving you three whole Whole verses yeah. like full songs and chorus. Take like, over, he wild up nines and um wild them niggas up. Is that top ten? You got that top ten disc? Of course. Okay. Nah, because I was talking to niggas. Niggas be trying front on take over. Like it's not How like can that. You? What? Like you know, everybody he wild just doing nines, prodigy, fat Joe. All Who else you wild on? Just those are the main three culprits that really got it the most. I nines feel like he wild on somebody else too. I just I don't remember. I think he might have been. It might have been like in the for the rest of y'all. Fuck y'all niggas. Yeah. I only get half a bar. They might have got that. Yeah, one. half a bar ass niggas. niggas. Yeah, half, half a bar, bar ass niggas. niggas. The half a bar niggas got that straight. But it was definitely mob deep and Nas energy because y'all niggas was blown. Yeah, it was wilding. So we had yeah. to tighten y'all up. I personally yeah. like take over more than either, but you know, whatever. That's just that's like I guess that's just me. People say otherwise. New York voted otherwise. Niggas voted Ether. That shit was some bullshit. That shit was bullshit. I think that was just like an anti hope campaign. We answered campaign. a couple of phone calls and we going to say New York. No, New, New, York, York said, voted, New York said Ether. We like, answered what? like five phone calls. We going to say New York said Ether. Fuck out of yeah, here. Yeah, nah, dude. I wasn't going for that. That was some real shenanigans right that there. That was dumb shenanigans. I ain't like how they played that. You try to front on my man Hove, have my nigga scrambling his Yo, ugly. get the fuck. Yeah, that was <laughs> that was crazy. I ain't gonna lie. Fab celebrated his 20 years since Ghetto Fabulous. It's so bad for him that he just happened to drop the same day as Hove yeah. and um and the Twin Towers. No funny shit. I bought both. Like I on, did too, because I was not, a fab nigga. I mean, yeah, nah, I mean, I can't remember if I made it to the store on the day the Twin Towers fell. I probably was like two days after though, but nah, I, I wasn't. I, I don't think I wasn't on September 11th. Yeah, I wasn't. Purchase, like, yeah. I was. I ain't do all that because it was a lot going on with the towels and all that. Yeah. But two days later, I was definitely at. Was it Best Buy or was it? What was that shit? Was it the Wiz? Was you at the Wiz Tower City? Yeah, I think it might have been at joints? the Wiz. I think it was at the Wiz. I remember B. the Wiz. It was yeah. right outside the Garden State Mall. I was at the Wiz, 
And I bought both them shit. records. I had to beast my mom for a ride to the mall. Like, yo, I need these albums. Like, it's a serious thing. Like, was that yeah, the last yeah. physical album you bought? Nah, I think the last physical album I bought was, um, um, Stank on ya. Um, Stank on ya with the speak. Nah, what was that? It was um, Outcast. Outcast joint. That was after Speaker Box Love Below, right? Yeah. Nah, that was before that was it. Before. That was before it. Okay. I definitely didn't buy that shit. <laughs> oh, you skipped on that one? No, hold up. It might be. It might have been a speaker box love below. Or whatever one one that came out last. That might have been one of the last joints I bought physical. Okay, so it was an Outcast joint. They got your last breach. Nah, I mean, I you know I bought other nigga shit digital, so I guess that shit count. But I'm, I'm physical shit that over. you could touch. Yeah, like yeah, 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 yeah. I think I might even boot like boomerang my name, my nigga, for real. No, nah, I'm lying to you. I'm dead ass. Hold on. Now nah, the last album I bought physical, Hove Joint might have been like black album. Yeah. Okay. I remember, I remember going, seeing nigga. I, I don't think I had. I might have had physical black album. I remember that going to the it. store buying black album when they first released it when they had the all black cover with no no nothing on it. It was yeah. all black. The whole case was black. My favorite physical is, to this day is still Immunity. It was just red and blue disc. <laughs> <laughs> Immunity was fire. It was a fire. I remember. I it's certain joints I remember purchasing. I remember purchasing Marshall Mathers LP too. I was on a school trip, and I just remember playing that shit on the way back. I'm like, that shit's all right for white boy. Nah, I'm like, yeah, what? <laughs> I mean, that shit was fire since that the first. Fire. The first album was fire. That shit was fire. Okay, yeah, we got some shit with you. Facts. Girls, girls, girls. That was a joint. Speaking of girls, 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 my man Umar got married. The two of them. Give him Yo, a what? go to applause. Yo, I'm <laughs> now, not applause. Hold where's on. applause? Hold on, you know, hold, hold on. on. V. Give my man applause for his two black queens. Man, don't do don't do that like that. Yo. We we gonna applause him. Uh, and I'm gonna add my own shit. Yo, <laughs> I just yeah, I mean, I just I, I don't know Umar. Like Umar, we, what are we, you up to? We supporting. For, are we happy for the black? Are you happy for the black man? I mean, he, I'm the happy. Fuck, he got two joints. For one, I don't even understand. Me personally, I don't know why niggas sign up for double the stress. You know what I'm saying? So you anti poly? I think it's double the stress. Okay. It's not just about the fucking. You gotta actually deal with both these bros. Yeah, but what if it's see? But this the thing though. Like you got, you know how you dealt with certain joints, and they just can been completely under your thumb. Like do whatever you tell you. So imagine you got two of those. <laughs> That's on time, man. Like, yeah, but they, I mean, they all up. they still going to stir the pot. They still, 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 still going to stir the pot. A, jo- a joint that's said, like you say the, the, to use your terms under the thumb. <laughs> <laughs> I'm just saying, it, like you it, feel it, me? It's, it's, the it's it's very, man joint. That that joint is very very emotionally invested in you. So she's gonna have mad episodes if it's well, uh, she's gonna be. You know what I mean? Upset at different shit a lot. That's why I, I just want to know, like, if like if you clap in one, right? It's like regular shit. Y'all in the living room, right? Because everybody live together. And then, like, the one walks in. Does she, like, does it hit her chest a little bit? Or does she be like, oh, nah, I got to join think, in? I don't think they care. I don't think. But, yeah, once you sign up to get married together, I don't think they care no more. But I think they might fuck around and have days. Like, yo, you it's only clap day. my shit on this day. Or, I don't know. Who knows? Maybe it's man orgies. Maybe they like each other. They all yo, like each other. Who knows? I, I, yeah, I remember I was watching this. The Joe Exotic, remember his documentary? And one of the zookeeper niggas, he had six joints, like, and yeah. they all lived on campus with him. You know what I mean? Yeah. But they just had designated houses. You know what I'm saying? So I uh, think with his situation, I don't think he was like trying to keep them all extra together. Like they working together, but like he just go to a different house whenever he wants a certain type of box. But I'm but hold on, B. Like back to Umar, back to Umar. B, like I, does this hurt his credibility with his whole with what he's trying to get off? Nah, cause he's promo- Listen, like. All right, if we know niggas are Africans before white European Christian ideology came and whitewashed all of us, you know what I'm saying? Like, polygamy wasn't like, that was like normal, that was a normal practice. It still is in a lot of countries in Africa, you know what I'm saying? Don't roll your eyes, you know what I mean? I, mean, like, I don't know. You know I don't mean? know none of these things. Bro. I just, I right, from, I could tell you, Mansa Musa, kings of Africa, for sh- they had hundreds of wives. If your brick was up, you had more than one wife. Yeah. And I understand the structure, like, all right, let's look past the right, you get multiple boxes. And let's just look at it, like, because that's great. But let's just, let's just analyze it just from a, a foundation and building, like, a structure and being successful, like, you got X more income, more breach, yeah. right? More breach, 
more brain power. You know what I mean? What she yeah. might not, she might not know. She might. I mean, it's, it's just because people know different shit. So let's yeah. just say more brain power. Yeah. More breach, more brain power. That too, right there, is cool. So that, but that, but that's, but that comes with assuming that you that you haven't that you picking small wives. I mean, that's I would. A, I mean, at this big age, and yeah. I think between Umar, like I'm sure he's picking people that have some type of intellect. You know what I mean? Like they're competent in the real world for the most part. I don't think he's picking retards. You know what I mean? Mm. Like, I'm, I mean, uh, Umar, I don't man. I, Umar, like, he getting away with some shit, B. I don't, just just, let's say this. I don't know if they was dimes as far as physical, but like, they seem like they, they wasn't might be horrible nice looking. They wasn't horrible. They wasn't either, horrible looking. As I said, I mean, like, nice middle aged joints. Yeah, they were good, regular, whatever. Umar is smarter. Like, all right, you a smart nigga. Sometimes, like, when you talking to somebody who you know is, like, intellectually lower than you, like, that gets annoying. Like, Umar is very well spoken. Niggas can say what they want about the school and all that shit. He's eloquent. He know how to articulate himself. Yeah. I say that to say, I don't think Umar would sign up to be made with two dumb, super idiotic broads who's not like they nah, might not I be on the same level as them intellectually, but they on the way up. And they I don't, might. Yeah, I don't think they're necessarily stupid. I'm just, I'm just starting to feel like Umar starting to give me like some mass Bengali coat vibes. Like you over here now, you fucking the followers and you marrying yeah, and a couple. Just, just and and uh, I was getting a little I mean, crazy, Umar. Like, I think, I right, look, let's call it spade a spade, like. He he's on the gram. He got some type of celebrity. Like I'm pretty sure, like they were probably some followers. Like yeah. they probably came to a few book signings or whatever. Yeah. He's like, all right, it's your third time here. Let's figure it out. <laughs> you know what I'm saying? Like you didn't came to three. Just, like if you cut to three, if I move off, I see a bitch cut to three of my shits. It's like, all right, you feeling me? Like what's yeah, up? Like, 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 like you coming? You yeah, traveling like, to I'm the book signing? You, you, you know, inspiring like, you? But like, he's supposed to be inspirational. He ain't supposed to be trying to put his cock in joints. He got a nut too. Yeah, like, he, yeah, but he ain't really supposed to. He ain't really supposed to be. You not supposed to. In his motherfucking constituencies per se. You know what I mean, for what he trying to do, it seemed like he kind of. I don't know, son. It sound good, but like, listen, like I know niggas that's like that teach grad school. Like and they be like I've talked to older niggas they be like yo I, I, listen be it be hard not to hit the grad students yeah. like it's one thing when you teaching them yeah, undergrad because they still kind of young but once they get the grad and they grown and they still yeah. want it and like yeah. they obviously respect your intellect because you yeah. teaching them yeah. it's like why well, I'm not gonna take it you yeah. know what I mean like rappers fuck groupies who more fucking his followers what are you gonna do yeah. Yeah, I mean, it's, it's 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 not supposed to happen, but it's like it's good. It's, I just feel like it, it might hurt the credibility of what you're trying to get across if niggas know you clapping, could. clapping your constituency. It, huh? Obviously, it would be a way better look if Umar had maybe like a joint that just been on deck since like day one, like yeah. a day one joint. Like that would be a way better look. I, clearly, I agree with you, and it does kind of look shaky, but it's like. Can you blame him? <laughs> like, like, I'm like, you gotta take advantage of the fans at some point. Like, what the fuck? As long as everybody's crystal clear about what's going on, I'm not knocking Umar. Be like, all Umar get is slander from half the black community, which I don't like. Nah, you know yeah, that's that's another thing. Like, I, me personally, I fuck with Umar, so okay. I don't want him to get bad looks. And now it's more reason for other motherfuckers to be talking shit about Umar. Well, black you know Christians was up in arms, but you know, it's funny that as People, as we evolve and as time passes, like, you know, just, just looking at the comments, I think overall people are starting to see, like, you know, like, we're not going to judge niggas because they don't, if they want to practice polygamy, because like I said, like, a lot of people realize that wasn't a foreign practice for a lot of our old, our ancestors coming from Africa. Like, niggas had more than one wife. Even in the Muslim, even now, like, in the Muslim religion, like, having more than one wife is, is a regular practice yeah, as long as you can take care of it. You know what yeah. I mean? Like. Yeah. And I know niggas like I got niggas that strict Muslim and will have multiple bitches and be like, this is what it is. Like, yeah. I'm I'm still under the Islam. I'm still following the rules. That's why. You know what I'm saying? So it's like, yeah. You feel me? Yeah. So I can't really. You know what I'm saying? I'm not going. I'm not. I'm happy for Umar. You know what I mean? I'm happy he got black queens. I'm unhappy that there are black people that are trying to ridicule him for practicing polygamy. Like that's what was really bothering me. And then like people are, like, oh, where's the school at? Like school's coming, my nigga. Like the fuck, be let my yeah, man, man be happy. You, you spending money on a wedding and shit. Like what's up with the school? Don't say you spending money, bro. Because we're gonna be respectful to Umar. Like the shit looked like it was in the garage. <laughs> <laughs> like it was like it was. It looked like it was at my local rec center. Like and like I think I. 
looked at the address and was like, like a boys and girls. Club. Yo, how you get the address to Umar's wedding? Because he posted man. it. Like, yo, what? He posted like, yo, pull up. I mean, yo. If you want to say, you tell you to pull up. Like, <laughs> niggas pulled up. That's crazy. What you told me? What did you say? Umar's a man of the people. He is That's a man. what Umar's you, a man you man said. Of the that like twice today. Umar's a man of the people. And I went he on not, his page man, he and he, he had that shit up. Address was like, pull up for the boys and girls for the union. So he let niggas know like. That's why I fuck with Uma. Like, if a nigga gonna give out his public ad, the addy to the public for the wedding, like, yeah. I ain't knocking it. Be like, well, how much more transparency? I'm marrying both my joints. I'm marrying both my joints. You can show up. Some nigga but showed I up. I feel like he should have been told us that he was on time. And like, why do you ain't been told me you had two joints, Uma? Like, why you just pop up married with two joints, B? I feel like you feel duped. I mean, but see, I, that's the like, thing, though. Not OD, but you, because I, I feel like he was on his king vibes anyway. But like. That's what I'm saying. What's like, I, I wasn't shocked. Like, I, I feel like that's on that's brand for Umar. I feel like... <laughs> I'm like, me personally, I feel like that's on brand it was for Umar. It was, kind of, it was on brand. I feel like that's on brand for Umar. It was on Umar, brand, man. but it, the fact it was randomly married, like, yo, where did it It was dumb from? random. It was dumb random. From? It was dumb random. Like, and, 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 and it's two they, sides to the coin. It's like, it's like, I, it's like now, like, you might got a joint you dealing with. Like, are you necessarily going gram with it? Like, are you t- keeping niggas up to date? Like, yeah. what, what the status is? Like, yeah. you might just pop up one day like, yeah, I'm engaged. Like, you know what I'm saying? You might but not pop tell up, me. Pop up, pop up, pop up, ceremony and all that. With and no you, engagement. And you yeah, be in yeah. a public eye. That's what made me feel like even more that they was his followers. Like, yo, these joints is definitely his followers. I guarantee you Umar didn't get on bending knee. <laughs> like, yo, <laughs> you and you. I'm, I'm sure Umar was like, listen, yeah, this is what we doing. <laughs> like, yeah, like, they probably, they in. probably pregnant. Yeah, Pregnant by now. Uh, yeah, yeah, yeah. Y'all gotta have my. Make y'all honest by now. Let me make y'all honest. Let me make y'all honest. Women be. Y'all marry me. We gonna do our. Yeah, you know I mean, king me, polygamy, polygamy, all Umar, of that. The God, like I said, African king, pan African king. African like king. this is what it is. But see that. He, see now he make his shit look more nuts. He calling himself prince of pan Africanism and all that wild well, shit. Now you marrying. Now you marrying two three bitches out your constituency. Now it's like you starting to get ridiculous with your shit. Like you, you, you really pulling into your you own say, like when you marry the fathers, it kind of comes across cultish. It's like yeah, like, now, where now you it's like, where, where you it? going with it? Is this you some brother it? polite shit? Like what are you doing? Yeah, like, where you? Yeah, it definitely could come across like that for sure. But for me, I'm happy for the nigga. You I know mean, what yeah, saying? go get your. I mean, have fun, Umar. Fuck it. You know what I mean, but me, per- if I was thinking of my brand, I wouldn't do that one. But fuck it, Umar. Live your life. Cook yeah. up. Yeah, yeah. It, it, it. Don't, Fuck it. I don't want to hear a fucking brother polite or Africa bambada type story out of this nigga. Or oh some, please, like, please, please, yeah, I, yeah. Hopefully, I just, hope, I just want right. Umar. To, I don't need no like predatory shit with Umar. Don't, please, don't. Let, like, he was locking the bitches in the basement. <laughs> yeah, he some, some, we don't some, need no kind of weird. He married spin. with some shit. He been grooming been his constituency 16, for ten years, yeah, like some like, whack shit. All type of. Like I said, shit. I looked down. They, they look like they're his age. Yeah, I mean, they don't look like they like thirty. Like they look like they like forty three or something. You know what I mean? So like, hopefully, hopefully, like like I said, like hopefully everything's on. Board, everything's on board. Everything. Things on the up and up. Everything, yeah. What else is going on, man? It's Fashion Week. Yo, Shit crazy. Yeah. These niggas is out of pocket. Everybody's cousin, wearing anything. Your cousin, first, that's a lot. It's a lot of fashions. We weren't gonna get your cousin Westbrook. He went full on dress, first of all. Like, and blue hair. He went blue hair. I see meant blue hair. Larry Johnson, who's, who's starting to become one of my favorite pages on IG, said the rituals have started. <laughs> the satanic like, rituals have started. The ritual season has His begun. The ritual season has begun. Lil Nas X want to fucking, what's the call it? Uh, all right, so yeah, they, they, they are going to push Lil Nas X to the forefront. Like, yeah. no matter what. And it's yeah. just like, I'm not anti-gay. I just don't like the argument that people are like, if you don't agree with the lifestyle, that you're just automatically homophobic. Like, that word gets thrown around egregiously way too much. Like, it's just too much. Like it, I don't like I don't have to I don't have to I'm not gonna have nothing against gay gay shit, gay gayness or whatever it may be, but why do I gotta see here and look at man nipple and all type you, of other You know what I, you know what I'm gonna say? How about this? Like, I'm gonna go this route, like Niggas is not aesthetically pleasing to look at, right? Like, they are, we're not beautiful creatures like women are. So, I don't want to see a bunch of niggas yeah. <laughs> all the time. Like, niggas. I don't want to... Nas was up there with, his, with, with a fucking thong underwear on, with his feet out. Like, oh, I don't want to see no so skinny weird. nigga running around my screen. Like, you not pretty, bro. That's like, weird. you not beautiful to look at. It ain't nothing to do with the yeah. gay shit. Like, it's just not... That's why I said, like, Prince was far from great. When he had his cheeks out, that shit turned me off. I was like, I'm good on Prince. Like, he's 
doing too much. Like, yeah. I don't, I'm not feeling that. Like, <laughs> I should, and I was a little kid feeling like that. Like, yeah, I don't like that I, shit. Yeah, bro. I'm cool. Shit was like, weird. Shit was weird to me. Like, you know what I mean? Like, I'm over here with Michael and them niggas. Like, yeah, he's light skinned, but he's still like keeping it thorough. Yeah, he's keeping his ass inside his yeah, pants. Yeah, he's keeping his ass in his pants. Yeah. Like, I don't want to see your cheeks, I'm bro. Going, I'm always for the nigga that's keeping his ass in his like, pants. Like, come bro. on, bro. I'm gonna, like, at least wear some pants. Like, niggas like, just out wear here, some pants. Niggas bro. out here wearing gowns, bro. Like, what you know what's crazy with Westbrook, though? Like, He's so outlandish with his fashion that, like, I feel like the dress is like tame compared to some of the other shit. Like, no. don't forget, he went no, he went stomach out. Like that's the crazy. halter top was crazy. But, yeah, the halter top was the that's halter top like, was crazy. That was crazy, bro. And the I feel halter like he's done that like three times. Like the I feel like that's not like a one crazy. stop shop. I feel like some. I feel like he always goes halter out. top playoff. Whoa. These some niggas give you stomach out. These some decent Yo, niggas give you that. Westbrook goes stomach out every yeah. time the playoffs. He's come. egregious, bro. Like as soon as the weather break. He Nigga, went, stomach nigga went icy blue hair in a gown. And, and was dragging his like dragging his mink like yeah like <laughs> like, I'm like his flea yeah yeah <laughs> like his flea like it was Tom he make Brown. a nigga not want to wear Tom Brown because this then, is like then, like yeah, I ain't gonna lie when I go on the Tom Brown website like I scroll through all of the bulls like they got a lot of flagrant shit on their site. Oh, it's mad gay now. I'm not gonna say it's gay. Like we're, we're gonna be like. It's not for me. Yeah. You know what I'm saying? Like, it's a lot of gowns and shit. You yeah. know what I'm saying? Like, I go right to sweatshirt. Yeah. Like, this that's what I want from y'all. Like, I don't need nothing. Whatever y'all are trying to do on the other side is cool. I just want you I like y'all sweatsuits. They comfortable. I like how they sit. You know what I mean? And they cloudy. Like, bitches see the little four bars. They're like, oh, you got a couple of dollars. Like, it looks like something. <laughs> you know what I mean? It's going to call a spade a spade. You want to get fresh to see. You get fresh for yourself, but at this age, you put this on. You want bitches to see it. So yeah. I, that's why I like Tom Brown. It's just cloudy. You got the four bars and it's comfortable. But he does a lot of extra shit with the, you know what I mean, that I'm yeah. not getting into. And the shit Russell had, had on was some of the extra shit, and it's just a little too much. But like I said, he went halter to top. So that was not like, that was that was it for me. I'm like, all right, he's over there. Like, it's yeah. certain niggas I put into the basket that it's just like, they just going to be left. Russell Westbrook and Young Thug is two of them niggas. Like, yeah. I've accepted Thug's going to be whatever he's going with, whatever he's feeling at the moment, he's yeah. going to go left. Facts. Cool. And same with West. I don't really, like, I don't even get into the agenda shit with them niggas. I just feel like they just feel like they can push the envelope, and that's what they trying to do. Well, I don't, what, are, what, what are they achieving from pushing the envelope? Though? I mean, for Thug, it's just sales. Like, if you're an artist, anytime your name can get in the butt, like, because you got to think, like, Thug went raid and dress, whatever on the cover. Like, if you just a, a, a something, I'm pretty sure if a thousand people seen that cover, a hundred people might have streamed the album just to see, like, all right, what was he about? Like, you know what I'm saying? Because well, you're well, just curious. So what is it? What's the motivation or if for you're us? Gay. So what's the motivation for us? What's the motivation for or what, Kid he Cudi? Just, he's just a fashion. Kid Cudi still he does music, so but he he don't even drop like that for me to even say that. So I don't know. I think I always thought Kid Cudi was gay. Though. I'm just waiting for him to come out. Like, yeah. You know He's mean? gonna definitely tell us that he sucked some dick before. Yeah, sure. like him and Frank. I knew Frank Ocean was gay, and I always thought Kid Cudi was kind of gay too. So I, I'm just waiting for him to come out and be like, "My yeah, son went gown and, and fingernail polish." Yeah, like, all right, where you going? You know what I mean, and him and Yachty be doing tone painting, they toenails, yeah, all kind of watch shit. Like, yeah, like, hey, come I on. I think Cudi might have had nails on, like press on nails. See, that's where you start to lose me. And like, I've it's, been it's, lost, it's, me. it's getting too crazy, V. I've been lost. Because it's, it's like I said, like. Russ and Thug, they get left, but it's still certain niggas who I feel like it's st- Conway put on a, a kilt too. Niggas wasn't feeling that. Niggas was like really uh, upset. Out of the pocket. I don't know what he was doing. I don't know what and, that was about. See, was, that, was that his ritual? <laughs> yeah, you know what I mean? Niggas uh-huh. was like, yo, fuck it, I'll do it too, B. Like, they put me on, B. Like, like what was that he, about? Isn't he signed to like Eminem or Rock Nation? Slim Shady. Or he, they definitely signed he to signed Slim Shady. signed to something big. They, signed they, they signed on big. major. They signed up, yeah. which is really Interscope. We signed to Shady, you signed to Interscope, which yeah. is MIV, which is yeah. under Universal. Which is which is where dress. Which is where dress. Which is where dress. Like if you're under Universal, <laughs> they're gonna try to figure out how they can squeeze you. Yeah. <laughs> so that was crazy. Like Conway, I'm like, damn, bro. Like that was real. He it just was threw really that no reason. He just for threw that. that in there like he didn't do it. He just yeah, threw that like he just there. threw that in there. Like, what was the point of that? <laughs> like that was crazy, like. I would have expected a nigga like Gun to go fashion skirt before the Conway. Yo, like I didn't even know where that came from. I don't even know who sent that through. I'm like, yo, how did this even happen? Like, and, and it's still lingering because like I be on it. Like I'll check in. Like with they, he just dropped the video. Niggas in the comments like I still ain't forget the dress, bro. Like, <laughs> you haven't explained that. You haven't. You like, haven't explained explain that. that. You just did you it. Just did this shit. Put it on the internet and you didn't, tell, didn't n- tell niggas <laughs> what it was about. Like what the fuck is going on, b? Like shit is crazy. <laughs> 
Like you just went dressed nah, like niggas the explanation, boy. Like yo, what? I the need fuck an explanation, bro. What's that? You know niggas what? is wearing dresses more than bitches these days. It feel like like. And now I think about like when's the last time you went on a date with a bitch and she just had on a dress. <laughs> like like I get like a flowy joint? like a flowy joint. Ah uh, yeah, uh, are those like even in style? It's been a month. It's been like earlier this summer. A bitch had on a flowy. Yeah, a flowy joint. Yeah, okay. fair. So uh, let me ask you this: If a bitch pulls up on you in a flowy joint, do you feel like you could? I right, is she? Do you feel like she's styling, or do you look at her like, all right, this is something light, like? She's out the loop, like she in the loop. Do you, I mean, does that make you feel like I I gotta get dipped as opposed to the bitch you might pull in a bodysuit with the white toenails, you know what I'm saying? With the Dior with the Bottegas on. You know what I mean? Yeah, I mean if she slide through in some free flowing, you know what I mean, going with the wind shit, I'll be I'm a I'm a I'm gonna like it, cause I like that type of shit, but I'm not necessarily gonna think she's fly. You know yeah. what I'm saying? I'ma just think like, especially she got if she got a body, I'm just be like, oh, I'ma like it. You know what I mean? Cause yeah. that, that should be looking good with body. And I'm yeah. just think like, oh, she want me to get right with her shit. She want she wanna get me, let me, you know what I mean, get crazy with it real easily. I like I like the flow we join. I can just yeah. get right up under there. Yeah. So it's like, all right, you know what I mean? It's popping. I'm like, oh, it's lit. That's an easy, it's gonna be a great day. It's gonna be all right. This is gonna be fun. You know what I'm saying? But I'm not gonna think that she's fly though. You know what I'm saying? Nah, I can't really. You're not nah. going for that. Copy. Nah. Copy, copy. It's not a real like it's not a, that don't register as a like a fit to me, like. So what what what's a, what's a what's a fly girl fit in this age? Like what's what's the standards? I don't know all this shit. I don't know what they called and all that. I ain't gonna lie, but you know the shit the bitches wear, the tight shit, the shit, the little skirts. You know I mean, I feel like they definitely getting away with a lot of fashion over though. You know what I mean? Yeah, I mean, because I, I, I don't know the difference in the designers. I don't know. I don't really care either. Yeah. Like, as long as it sit right, I'm cool. Yeah. I, could, I feel like I can tell a cheap shoe. Yeah, I, can, I feel like I can tell a cheap shoe. <laughs> you know yeah. what I'm saying? But A bad shoe be blowing me, too. Like, bitch, yeah. come on, man. Like, you, I got you get away with the $10 bodysuit. Like, you could have gave me a good shoe. Like, yeah. Don't or, like, yeah, like, yeah. At least the nails, please be done. Like, I'm not asking for a lot. You know what I <laughs> mean? Like, jeez Louise. But, yeah. I, I'm a, I'm a, I'll be more so... I'll be more so worried about like just the upkeep, like yo, the hair and the and the face. Yeah. You know what I mean? And then I might look at the back of your ankle, like is it moisturized? Like or what, bitch? Are yeah, you with like, ashy? Are, are you, you I need you to be wow well, smooth, wow well, moisturized. Please be moisturized. Yeah, you know I mean, please like please be moisturized. All that I ain't been to the wax lady vibe, like that's crazy. Nobody wants to hear that shit. You're in a grown what? adult, bro. You know what I mean? Cause that is you better crazy. believe a bitch will grind your nigga go a couple a week or two no cut. Bitch is like, hold on now, like what's up? You know what yeah, I mean, I so we expect with, the same. I can't get with that type of work, B. I really want you to get laser, but I mean, whatever. I settle for wax. <laughs> <laughs> you know nah, I mean? my first ex had laser. That shit just was extra smooth. Yeah, like, I, mean, I prefer a bitch like, to have laser. Like, and it just not, never came back. Yeah. Like it was just baby smooth for yeah. that was it. Pretty elite. Yeah. I'm, we advocate for laser on world set, man. Laser <laughs> it up, man. Fuck is y'all niggas talking about? What else happened? VMAs happened too, man. Psh, that shit is just getting more and more outlandish. It's just hard to, it's hard to even want to keep Justin up with Justin Bieber won Artist of the Year. If that's, I guess that's the most important award. Beebs is the shit, son. I'm fucking with Beebs. Olivia Rodrigo won Best New Artist. Who I can't that? believe they they nominated Sweetie for that shit. Like, shit Polo G got, got jerks. Yeah, she do got hits. Little Nas X got uh, Montero video of the year. Fucking creep. The shit with the devil all through it. When yeah, you're, the devil. When there's dick in the devil and all yes, that. Yes, of course. That's crazy. Yes, yes. Doja Cat was she hosting it? Cause yeah, yeah, I think she was hosting. She had all types of looks and shit. She looked. Oh, she did man, thing. that bitch. Little Nas won Wild Awards. He won Best Direction, Best Visual Effects. That nigga thanked the gay agenda. That was wild crazy. Travis Scott and Young Thug and MIA got best hip hop video for franchise. I don't even know. I don't even know what the fuck that was. I missed that one. How the fuck can niggas have the best hip hop video or some shit that niggas never heard of? Uh, VMA is not hitting the same way. So these niggas be getting away with murder, bro. They be calling anything rap. Niggas never even heard of that. Niggas never heard of that song. Like got MIA on it. Like cut the shit, bro. Who the fuck is MIA? The fly like paper get high like planes, right? Yeah. I, I didn't know she was still around. John Fat Joe got a versus tonight. You tuning in? Um, I might. You know what? At first, I was like, I, I'm. I don't really got shit else to do, so I might tune in. At first, I was like, impossible. But yeah, I don't think I'm, I mean I might not have the busiest night. I might say fuck it. 
Yeah, I'm, I'm gonna tap in. I mean, Ja got a lot of hits. I, I wanted Ja to go against Fifty, which I knew that wasn't gonna happen. But yeah. that's what I would. You know what I mean, I'd have definitely been anticipating that. Ja just made has made so many missteps since his height that. You just think of him in such a corny in way. In such a corny way. When you he really got a lot of heat. He got a lot of heat. He got saying? a lot of heat. So I had to really think about it. I'm like, yo, he really might smoke Fat Joe boots, but Fat Joe got way more hard shit, though. Well, Fat Joe got some shit, too. Fat, Fat Joe, Joe was, like, good for a single, shit. like, for, like, at one single a year for, yeah. like, every summer. Fat Joe got a lot of hard shit. I'm sure Remy gonna pull up. Yeah, when if it's for the... But if, if Ja Rule keep it for the tree, she gonna, she gonna smoke Fat Joe boots. Fat, I mean, Ja Rule have Ashanti pull up. Irv Gotti pull up. Yeah. You know what I mean? Give you a good murder ink, couple murder ink joints. Yeah. You Facts. know what I'm saying? Facts. Like, Facts. We're going to see. Yeah, hey, I'm out. It's, it's, it's Tuesday, pardon. It is tomorrow, so. It's an error. You know what I mean? Yeah, it is. It was an error. error. I'm not going to front on Ja because he got heat. Yeah, you know what I mean? Like you said, like he just had so many missteps that like niggas just kind of look at him in a cornball way, yeah. but. I, we not gonna take it away from 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 what he put out there. You know Fat Joe kind of whoring himself out right now. He's like, "Fuck it, I'm hot right now." Yeah, yeah, you know what I mean? <laughs> he, was, he just got hot off a of sale like yesterday's price. You know what I mean, he's just yeah. running with it. I ain't mad at him. You gotta take advantage of this shit. Yeah. Anytime you catch a little flame, you definitely gotta ride that shit. That's crazy. But yeah, we gotta uh, pay some bills. We'll be back. You know what I mean? Holla at the advertisers. Beep beep. Yeah. You know, we got to talk a little sports for the sports heathens. Football oh, is back. NFL is like we here. Roger Goodell said, you know what I mean? COVID or not, vaccines or not, and we getting the season started, man. Fuck it, B. Stadium is full as hell. It's full of shit. Full <laughs> of shit. Back. <laughs> niggas is in the stadium capacity. They niggas got not niggas. Get capacity. Facts. They got niggas clearly with no masks in the stands. Fuck it. They on time and they outside. Can we talk about the game of the week real fast? Involving my Cowboys and the Buccaneers this past Thursday. You feel like that was the game of the week? Yeah, it's the best game I've seen. It was between that and the Cleveland and Kansas City shit. Yeah, that was you know pretty I mean? good. But I just think with the star power, you had time, you had Dad, because the Cowboys, it's, it's Jerry Jones, you know what I mean? It's, it's the game of the week. Okay. It's A.B. It's lies. The niggas was there, you know what I'm saying? And my Cowboys looked fucking great. Fuck is y'all talking about? We lost by two points to Tom Brady and them niggas. You know what I mean? I mean, at the end of the day, we got an incompetent kicker. He missed two field goals. We make the field goals, we win. You know what I mean? Because we only lost by two. He missed a three, three, three yarder, uh, thirty yarder for three points, and he missed the extra point joint. Like, we can't we can't it's have pretty, that? It's pretty disgusting. It's really disgusting. Dak fresh off shoulder injury and ankle surgery, threw for a four piece. You know what I mean? Four yeah. touchdowns. Let it know Dak, he's still air. Dak definitely impressed me. He showed. Definitely impressed me, but they lost at the end of the day. Yeah, they you know did lose. Saying? I mean, you can't give the ball. They scored too fast. You are can't they, get a ball back to time. Are they last in the division? Who, who else lost? I think Washington lost too. Did Washington lose? Let me see. Let's check that. I got the, I got the, you know, I got that right did, here for you. The God fits Yeah, they did. Right? They lost to the Chargers. They definitely lost to the Chargers. I mean, I like, I mean, Eagles spanked the Falcons. The Falcons ain't shit. Niggas is telling me the they call them for Matt horrible. Ryan's head. Matt Ryan is terrible, Sean. Matt Ryan is really, really bad. And it's so sad that they didn't draft the quarterback all because that all because he's fucking the, the, the owner's daughter. <laughs> I, see, I didn't realize that. The owner's daughter's his wife. Oh, so, so I, I don't know how I missed that it's one. The only, I mean, like, it's the only reason why they, not, they haven't drafted a quarterback. Oh, yeah. That says it all. <laughs> that, that, Matt Ryan is going to get another five to ten from the Falcons. Now that you, now that you said nah, that, he's really got to kick get out of here, B. It's I, didn't, be I didn't know he was made all the all the blanks C, right? Yeah, his daughter. Yeah, I did not know that. Yeah, I don't know, B. That's hard, B. It's hard to pack up your son-in-law, ain't it? I'm, he should retire. Like he's he's a done deal, bro. He's cooked. Yeah, he's definitely cooked. Like he's like he don't got no arm no more, son. He don't got no that arm. Shit. He's old. I don't even think the team has confidence in the nigga anymore. Yeah, like, they're yeah, like, mad running. Know. They got a nigga that returned kicks as they main running back. You seen Julio wanted out there? He pulled right up to Tennessee, and them niggas got smacked. And they though. got smacked. He didn't do nothing at all. And they they got smacked. They got smacked. Yeah, I mean, I don't know. Tennessee, I don't think they're gonna I think they're gonna take a step back this year. Even I though they got to be good this year, but geez, that was that was scary. They got raped. Yeah, they got Kyle, 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 Kyle is the truth. Kyle is the truth though. I told these niggas he's better than Lamar Jackson, bro. 
Collins yeah. with the fucking he got a, He could do what Lamar do with a better ratchet. Yeah. You know what I mean? That's what it is. <laughs> Him and DeAndre got a year under their belt. You know what I'm yeah. saying? The rapport. Yeah. Nah, I... The NFC West in general is, is serious. They got a wave. They offense is focused on throwing that shit. You yeah. know what I'm saying? The mall should have focused on some weird shit. Like, oh, we, and he still don't got no real right receivers. Like, they down to their fourth running back. I don't know. Yeah. <laughs> now okay. that you said, you were saying the Ravens might not make the playoffs. I didn't say might not. I said they're not. Oh, you said they aren't going to make it. Oh, you, you're <laughs> confirmed. You're standing by it. I said they was not making the playoffs. That was before all the injuries. Yeah, okay. And yeah. now that all now, the injuries, now with the injuries they definitely, definitely shaky. The yeah, it's definitely shaky. Like, I didn't realize that they was down bad. Like, that so yeah. it's definitely shaky for them niggas. Like it's over, yeah. You know I mean, it's quiet. But I was saying about the NFC West. I feel like they might be the best division of football. Yeah, they got the Rams. Possible. They got the 49ers. Rams yeah, showed up last night. They did their thing. Yeah, I mean Matt Staff. Out, Matt Staff for Sean McVay. You know what I mean? On the, on the I think is Andy Dalton finished? Because Justin yeah, Fields bro. got on the field. Yo. <laughs> and, yo. Yo. <laughs> yo. Andy Dalton looked Andy like, Dalton yo, finished? what? Andy Dalton looks like a shell of himself, bro. He was never like that, though. He was, was a lot the of greatest, He was never the greatest nigga ever. But he, he wasn't. Was, he was, he he was serviceable. Yeah. He was he, serviceable. He could get it down the field. He could, I mean, he could do a couple things. But, I mean, he, he always had a decent running back in Cincinnati, and he had A.J. Green. So, it's like, you know what I mean? That definitely inflated shit, but yeah, he but just looks terrible. He looked yeah. nasty work. He's a shell of himself. They was going to Justin Fields early in the game. Like, they was running, like, option packs. It was like, all right, once they start doing that, they start bringing the nigga They're in. They're too thirsty like, to bring you in. Yeah, it's, it's a dub. They brought, Trey, they brought Trey Lance in, man, early in San Francisco. The right, that's a dub for Jimmy G. Like, I don't know why niggas still holding on to that one. Yeah. Your cousin Baker Mayfield came up just a little bit short yesterday. Do a nasty pick at the end. Yeah. I'm not going to put it all on him. He had a good game. He, he was okay. solid. He had a decent game. He was serviceable. He was serviceable. It was serviceable. It was a 300 yard game, but it was still serviceable. It was serviceable. It was serviceable. It was a nasty pick at the end. Like, I, you might have should have took that sack for real. Like, niggas really be nervous, B, when they play. Is that what it is? Is Pat man. going back to the chip? He just might. My man Ed was at the game. I was like, yo, you cruising for a bruising, B, because he's a Browns fan. He went to Kansas City to watch the game. You know what I mean? Yeah. One of them type niggas. Yeah. He like, yo, I, I hit him. I'm like, yo, you cruising for a bruising. He, he hit me. He like, yo, we up 15-3. Fuck out of here. Yeah. I checked back in. It was Nasty Baker it pick. Was nasty Baker it was, pick. You know what I'm saying? Tyreek Hill did this and that. It was, you know what I'm saying? She took a turn for the worse. I'm like, bro, you going against Pat Mahomes. Like, he, he not about to just fucking lay it down, bro. I left the crib. I thought it was over for real. Like, no, when them was niggas was down 12, over. I was like, you know what? I think Cleveland, because I'm like, it's a regular season. Cleveland, like, they just going to run it out. Like, this shouldn't be too hard. Like, it's solid clock management. They should come out with the W. And then I came back, and the crib was like a minute and a half left. And I'm like, these niggas got the ball back? And then it was over. Yeah, B. <laughs> yeah, it was Patty over. M. Patty M is turning up, B. But, you know, Patty, Patty M just need a little time to get warmed up. It's the very first game. You know what I'm saying? They just yeah. need a little, little half, first half to get, get acclimated. You see my man Patty M gave you a bust down Cuban link chain you with the with the Dior shirt. Nah, I missed I missed I missed post game. Oh, you Patty. missed post game Patty. I missed post game Patty. Post game Patty, post -game Patty had a bust finished? that. Yo, he had a. For I what? better. He didn't. He just signed for five hundred. He just signed for five hundred. That's so the one. Said, I'm I rich. never in my life seen Patty. He must have had his his handler say, "Yo, we gotta up your street cred." Like niggas ain't jacking you. Yeah. You know what I'm saying? Because my that man might have been a PR move. Like, my man some Pat Mahomes came out in a Dior white tee. And a and a and a and bust down ice, and, a, and a bust down Cuban link chain. I said, "Oh, what the fuck is that, Pat Mahomes? He look like Lamar Jack. Lamar Jack don't even be that blittery." Yeah, I mean, yeah, he, he ain't get that second one yet. He yeah. ain't get that Patty Reed. Yeah, yet. I ain't seen Lamar Lamar Jack in the DLT. I'm pretty yet. sure if Lamar going. I'm sure Lamar going to get a re up because he did want an MVP. Yeah. Like, this shit going to be nice. And he going to get extra icy. My son Dak don't give me no ice. He don't give me. He's so dry. He gets no ice. <laughs> he, he's, he sent money. To, you know, I'm a Cowboys fan, but he donated to the police. So you know where yeah. he stands. Where yeah. he's at with it. Like, like come on, man. You going to you know, get the put, police more they money? They put my son James in a suit. You seen that? Jameis say, yo, I'm face of the team, be fuck out of here. I was just about to go on to Jay talk about Jameis, man. Shout out to Jameis, man. Can we get an applause for Jameis? We fucking with Jameis. We fucking with black Jameis, man. Redemption season. You know what I mean? For one, his name is Jameis. He's not anything other than black. You got to know that. Five touchdowns. First nigga to throw for five touchdowns in less than 150 yards. His so. name is definitely from slavery. That's for one. <laughs> Damn, slavery, Winston. <laughs> like, yeah, he do got a super nigga for his game. Winston, <laughs> don't get any blacker than that. Yeah, it's definitely slavery. But yeah, yeah I don't... I, I'm not gonna. We not gonna get into the yardage. I don't know how that. How does that even I happen? Because it was like they was. They I had didn't good watch field the whole game. I ain't gonna act like I watched it. And then it. they would throw it and then yeah. get a touchdown. I was just like, it was wild, hey, fluky. James is here for you, B. Listen, I thought I been thought James was nice because even though he threw thirty picks in Tampa Bay, the nigga did throw for 
for 5,000 yards and 30 touchdowns. So, yeah, like, I knew the, game, the arm strength was there. The game plan called for Aaron, and, and it just, yo, if you throw, all right, look, if I throw 30 sun touchdowns and I throw 5,000 yards and 30 picks, I'm going to say give or take 10, 15 of those picks to the receiver for. And the receivers have said that, like, niggas was like, yo, it wasn't even all on James. Like, a receiver might miss his route or some shit. Oh, yeah, I, niggas I, you're supposed to fight for the ball. If you was a little better, you would have caught that. It'd have been a touchdown. You on top of that, shit. Tampa Bay didn't have nearly the same old line that they have now that they yeah. gave time, and they didn't have the same running back situation or yeah. the weapons. Oh, you know yeah. what I mean? That, yeah, I mean, he still got it done. He didn't have Grock or Antonio Brown, and he still was giving these niggas air show. Yeah. I think with Sean Payton, he's going to be just fine. Yeah. Let's talk about the other side of the field. Aaron. Is he... Is, is he I could, is Aaron the type of nigga to say, you know what, fuck the Packers, I'ma just play like shit, and then this is gonna be it. Look, my man pulled up, <laughs> my man, oh, my man pulled up on me before the game. He had on a tour Aaron Rodgers outfit. He's, uh-huh. a real, he's a real Milwaukee nigga, so he goes blood. He be wearing Giannis outfits and shit. Oh, okay. Like, the nigga, I'm like, yo, he like, yo, we about to da da Super Bowl, all this ha- heavy shit. I'm like, yo, Aaron Rodgers' heart ain't in it, bro. Oh, you told him this was pre- before the game. Packers. Before the game, okay. I'm like, yo, his heart ain't in it, bro. I don't think his heart is in it, bro. Like. To play football and be nice to be the quarterback to lead he the team. He just told niggas last year he's 50-50 on retirement. Yeah, he, you got to care. Like, you really got to care. You got to want, want it for this team. Like, like, you already gave the whole organization SMD vibes. You probably don't even know none of the niggas on your offense like that. Yep, like, who the did. fuck are y'all niggas for real? Yeah, he's already, like, shown. Like, he got other issues. Don't forget, he was hosting Jeopardy, Jeopardy for a couple weeks. Jeopardy, all types like, of shit. You know what I'm saying? I think he's probably saying, you know, I don't have to get beat up he's for one a foot out the door, B. He's already, he's already made an announcement that he's not re He's not re Sign an extension and he's going somewhere else. He's definitely next year. going somewhere else if, he's if you play. If you announce that the year before before you even leave, before the season even starts, bro, that means your heart is not in the season. That's bro. a fact. That's a fact. This is gonna be probably one of the worst years of his career. Saying a worst year? One of them. He know, I mean, it's probably it's Packers really, making the playoffs. Um mm. They in a such division, so it's possible, yeah. It's just one game. Because it's the... Yeah, they in a such the division. The Vikings the division is, is dirt. trash. The Lions is dirt. It appears it's dirt, yeah. The Lions might not be that bad. But, yeah, the... They did in a bullshit division, so they, they can definitely make, they can make the playoffs easily, you know what I'm saying? But it's just... Lions got smacked. Bears got smacked. <laughs> did Minnesota win? Minnesota got strong offense. And Minnesota lost to the nasty Bengals. Yeah. Guys and Joe Burrow and them niggas. Joe Burrow's nice. I like Joe Burrow. I want him but, to bubble. But, um... So basically, yeah, but I think the Packers... Yeah, it's, 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 <laughs> they're in the dirt division. It's a free fall, so they can definitely make the playoffs. Are, they, the, are they worse than the NFC East? Yeah, that's what it's looking like. Yeah, because yeah. the Eagles aren't bad. The Eagles are going. The Eagles might make the playoffs. Cowboys is decent. They, they the, the, yeah, they, it's going to be between the Eagles and the Cowboys for that division. It look, yeah. looks like, as usual. Yeah, NFC North looking like the worst division of football at, at this yeah. rate. So if if A Rod might ha- can have really one of his worst seasons ever, and they and still, still can make, make the still back, yeah, he go the, like ten and the, six. Ten, yeah. Oh yeah, it's an extra game. We could go ten and seven. Yeah, yeah you got you got to think a oh, oh, mediocre season for A Rod is still pretty good. It's still you know pretty man? good, exactly. So, like, he could definitely make the playoffs with the mediocre. Like, he just got what you got to do is just beat up on the divisional opponents, just yeah. beat up on them bum ass niggas. Yeah, and they'll be all right. Yeah, who you got? Who you got tonight? Monday Night Football. Who Lamar versus Derek Carr. Raiders and Ravens. Uh, damn. I mean, uh, Lamar probably gonna show out, but Raiders gonna win. B. Damn. Baltimore's trash. B. They they're done for now. Okay. So they, you need, they need a, they need a, they need to have a bad season and get a good draft. And B. Yeah. I, I'm gonna still pick the Ravens. I don't really believe um John Gruden and his that his situation yet. Damn, you don't believe Gruden? And he has shut done- face on Monday yeah. night. Nah. You know they you know the powers that be is gonna buff John Gruden. They baby. are. They can't wait. They, they can't, can't wait to give you all the stats, <laughs> all the miscellaneous stats, but, but forget to tell you that he hasn't had a winning season in how long. You know what I mean? And he still got a 10-year deal out the gate, which was crazy. But, uh, yeah, uh, I'm just most – the biggest takeaway from week one for me is Dak and the Cowboys. I like what they did. You know, I'm a Cowboys fan, so even though we lost – and I'm not big on moral victories. That was a moral victory. We lost to the champs. They, 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 I feel like their defense was better and their offense is better, and we still showed up. We was right there with them. The niggas flat out just spent the whole preseason line, and niggas talking about how hurt this nigga was and all this. Yeah, he didn't look hurt at all. Shit, he didn't all look this, hurt at all. This nigga, they threw the ball damn near 60 times. Yeah, baby. it was just an air show. They didn't like, even give it. We could have gave Zeke vibe, some more touches. Oh, they, they on hard knocks talking about Zeke in the best shape of his life. He did look thinner. 
He uh-huh. did look thinner. Yo, they flat out barely gave Zeke the ball. They, they niggas was like, niggas, uh, niggas thought that um they forgot Zeke in the offensive plan. Like, like niggas for, forgot him in the game plan. Yeah, for they real, clearly real. forgot him in the game plan. <laughs> like, niggas was like, yeah, damn, yeah. can a nigga catch a screen pass it's or something? something. Y'all, y'all like giving the Pollard nigga the ball OD. Like, what the fuck, son? Game is going Pollard crazy. Yeah, it don't make no sense to pay the man and don't give him the box, son. But yeah, man, but... um. And I cooked you in fantasy, so don't think don't think I forgot about that. Week one. Don't worry about yeah, it. Whatever. It's 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 early. It's early. Cappy, cappy. But it's um, early. You got a you got a couple couple lucky niggas that went crazy. Yeah. Tom was, was the key. The 49ers defense showed up for me too. Yeah, it's ridiculous. I, I mean, but they, I don't know why niggas left. They got the bosses. Like you know, niggas get busy they got over the there. Bosses. <laughs> they got some active white boys. Like niggas over there get busy. You shouldn't me? <laughs> What is you talking about? Let's get into our favorite segment, man. You already know what it is. You want to start? Well, I'll start because we since we're on the topic, I'm all set on Aaron Rodgers because I'm in a fantasy oh, league and I have the tight end who plays for the Packers. That means he's a guy that Aaron Rodgers has to throw to, and because, like Rich was saying, he doesn't have his heart in it. I don't think he's gonna be throwing to my nigga that much. <laughs> I don't think he's gonna get any type of points or touches. So yeah, yeah that's what I'm all set ugly. on for the week. Until further, it might be fucking ugly. Um... I'm all set, yo. I'm all set on the um the transgender MMA fighter nigga that was fighting in the women's league and beat the joint up this with over the weekend. <laughs> like we got like we gotta stop the madness, be like you sick of it. <laughs> like come on, son. Like some was wild diesel, son. Like come on, be like the nigga would have been diesel by any standard, by any standards, right? Woman, man, anybody. You feel me? I'm like come on, be. This is ridiculous. But you gonna tell me this nigga's a joint? You know what I'm saying? He's fighting against joints? Ridiculous, He's definitely baby. fighting against joints. When a, when, a, when a joint get killed in the ring one That's time... That's when... Y'all, y'all better keep that same energy, too. Like, because I don't understand, like, how is this what we fighting for? How we fighting for rights to niggas that want to go in the ring and beat on joints, like? <laughs> and tell you, nah, I'm a joint, too, bro. Yo, did, you've seen the weightlifting, Trish. <laughs> weightlifting, Trady. <laughs> and it, he's so trash that he still didn't win. Like, you did all of that... You, he was a weightlifter for the niggas, couldn't qualify for shit. You know what I mean? Said, fuck it, I'm gonna see if I can change to a vagina. And then you still got to the Olympics and still ain't win. Like, yeah, my nigga, yeah. how you lose against the joints? This shit is so fucking spooky. Like, it's spooky out here. Like, they need to have, they gotta create their own leagues or something, cause that shit not right, bro. Nah, and ain't somebody's right. gonna get hurt badly, son. Badly. It's cause somebody's gonna be act like built, gonna be built like Arnold. Be like, you know what, fuck, I'm just give me the snip, and I'm going over with the bitches, and he's gonna do yeah. real damage. Yeah, real damage. That shit is spooky, man. But um, yeah, man, we here. We appreciate y'all. Yo, you got a herb? You know, you're supposed to do like a, a herb of the week, a herb of the get nigga set. You got, you got, you got a, a vitamin you want to promote mm. <laughs> for the people? Uh, turmeric. Turmeric. Get your turmeric, man. Google it so you can find out what it does. It does everything for you. Get you right. Facts. You know what I mean? Make sure I take your turmeric shots with your ginger shots. Make sure your body's all set. And we'll be uh, we'll be in touch next week, same time. Nigga, look out for us, man. Subscribe. We appreciate y'all. Make sure y'all go on Apple Podcasts, leave a review, submit. Uh, we like the uh, response from the polls we've been getting. We're going to keep that going. We see y'all like that. Stop asking us to do... Husband of men. We're not rating no niggas, bro. We're not rating niggas, bro. Y'all can do y'all own show and rating y'all own niggas. We're not that's doing what, no we're niggas, We're not doing bro. that. But we'll keep the poll. Wednesday to Friday is poll days. Holla at us. <clears throat> yeah, bro. Clip this shit. I was fucking...